Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Bear Simulator. Last week, we tried to do a lot of things and succeeded at some of them. Oh, God, we're still here. Getting out of here. No, none of that. None of that nonsense, please. All right. So, I, I, I don't want to deal with that. Mm, grub. We're just gonna do what we can here. So apparently, one of the latest updates to this game, before it stopped being updated, broke the Shadow Pig, so we might not be able to defeat that at all. I did not check what time it was before I came up here. I decided, uh, we're gonna try and fight the thing on the mountain, but it has to be nighttime for that. So, let's quickly nap. Alright, so in order to fight the mysterious nighttime beast, we have to go the same way we do as if we are climbing the mountain. But we're not going to be trying that climb right now. It'll be interesting to see what all's different here in the dark, because I don't think we've been here in the dark very often. Anyway, we want to head toward animal testing. Alright. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, you're large. Mutant bat! You're kind of horrifying looking, actually. Starting off strong with a freaking jump scare. Let's look at this nasty boy. Oh my gosh. Good lord. I think there was something wrong with this bat. Ayo. We can be a vampire bear. Why aren't there any movies about vampire bears? I don't know, why not? Awesome. Alright, so supposedly the power of darkness allows us to uh, fight the shadow pig. But I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that. Oh, we defeated everything here. That's cool. Still missing an area, though. I'm gonna presume it's the top of the mountain. Uh, okay. That was a very intense minute. Well, I know supposedly it won't do anything, but I want to see if maybe we can win anyway. We may as well try, you know? Now that I have fabulous dark powers. If I can just remember how to get up there.
I thought I saw an orange scent, but it was just the lights, I think. Pardon me. Let's see what our dark powers give us. Will we get any protection against this creature? Hey, you! Nope. Okay. Awesome. We cannot defeat the Shadow Pig. Still. Apparently you need to go to, like, an older version of the game to do it, which is absolute nonsense. Well, next order of business. Uh, let's head down to the ancient caves. We haven't been there in a minute. We have, like, full abilities now. The only thing that's not maxed out is our health. I feel like we should be able to do some stuff we weren't able to before. Alright, so this way comes from, uh, the lagoon. We can't go up that way, but I don't think there was anything other than the one spider orb. I think we need either one or two more. This was the fall. I know one of these places led to like a window where you could see a uh, spider orb. I want to see if that's the one we collected at the lagoon. I'm like pretty sure it is. And I believe that window is over this way. And there's also the matter of the valves, which I think turned off the steam that was down in these caves. Oh, no, it wasn't that one. Okay. Maybe that's where the uh, steam went. Let's try and find that. It's been a while since I've been in that area of the caves, but these are mostly cleared out by now. So it shouldn't be too tough to navigate other than the darkness.
Was it this way? Again, it's been ages since I came through an entrance that wasn't like near the lake or whatever. Okay, that's quite a drop. I don't believe it was that far down. If it was down at all. Pretty sure we got to keep our feet on solid ground for that little journey. I don't think this is where we want to be, though. Not because of anything inherently dangerous, but because it's not where the thing we're looking for is. Like, obviously the pits are dangerous, but we've also navigated them quite handily in the past. I think we'd be okay. It's just not what we're looking for right now. I feel like I've been this way already today. Yeah, we already looked down here. Okay. Those humans got me beat when it comes to making tunnels. Yeah, this was it. Okay. We couldn't go here before. Is this water? Okay, it's just water. No, no death pit or whatever. Water grub. May as well eat it. Oh! The anger box. Ooh. 
A lucky mushroom. Stupid grotto frog beating me up. Seven of eight. All right, this is where that was. Another spot in the forest? Where's this one gonna spit me out? Where am I? It's dark in there, don't you think? Sure is, Wally. What is that? Oh, I think it's just berries. Never mind. New area, Mystic Meadow. Ooh, obelisks. Ooh, bear statue. Only those who are worthy will be blessed by my presence. The forest spirit. Ooh, there's a forest spirit. How does one become worthy, I wonder? fish. It's frozen in fear. It's delicious is what it is. Give me that. Well, this is a neat little place. I don't know how to prove my worthiness to the forest spirit. So, like, uh, let's go back in. I think there might have been more to that, uh, pipe room. Maybe. Like, maybe there's another web orb if I go a different direction. Because we're only missing one now. Oop, bunk my head on the stalactite. It's fine, we're fine. Well, there's more mushroom. The luck. The luck est shroom. Dehydrated meat. It's been flavored with the mildew of the caves. Mmm. One of the pipes has sprung a leak. Should prob fix that. Yeah, you prob should have. Oh well. I guess there wasn't more to that except for uh, leading to the forest spirit.
now I want to see what the forest spirit is. Give me a moment. I wonder if it's a time of day thing. Okay, so. We gotta go up the freaking mountain again. Before I do that though, there is something I would like to find first. Preferably while it's daytime. And I can uh, see. As they say. Hi, Banshee. Good to see ya. We beat up a mutant bat. We gained its dark powers, which do nothing, because this version of the game is broken. We're also a vampire now? But it's purely cosmetic. Banshee says, poor bet. Yeah, it, it was kind of messed up. We were probably putting it out of its misery. Poor thing could not even fly. Also, like, its jaw had, like, super mutated. It was not in a good state. Alright, so there's a little treat we can get here. Yeah, yippee. Freaking mist, anyway. I wish I could steal these sleeping bags from my house. Alas. But, uh, okay. Where is it? So there's a little thing we can get in this area that we haven't yet, simply because I haven't found the way in. Um. There is a treat in there, and I gotta figure out how to get in. I think there's something I need to climb. Or something. Onions. Literally, why can't I take one of these sleeping bags? They're not coming back for him. Wow, 
Why did this pigeon with a seagull icon make a rat noise? You know what? I don't care anymore. Doesn't matter. Alright, give me a sec here. Okay, I just gotta remember where that is. I think it's clear on the other side, which is goofy. Oh boy, can of gasoline. Too bad I can't do anything with that either. I missed. Oh well. Not quite the right way. Dang it. Alright, that's not it. All I remember about the lost path is that it's stuffed away in a corner somewhere. Geometry for a second. Beautiful. Right. Established it's not there. Maybe it's on this side? the military installation. Ooh, a well. Nothing here. Well, this is embarrassing to say, but I've lost the lost path. Nope, that's not it. Okay.
Never mind, found it. Let's go. Let's not fall off. Let's not do that today. So we don't want to go down to the bear statue. We want to keep going. Because we can actually make it down there. I don't know if there's a path or if we simply have to break all of our little bones. We might have to break all of our little bones. But we can break slightly less of them by like going down here first. Bear food? I think this is food for bears! Fully healed! Wow! All right, yeah, we're gonna have to break all of our little bear bones. Never mind, we broke basically no bones. Let's go. I'm the king of falling from heights. This is blueberry rock candy. Nothing more than that, okay? Okay, I believe you. Pork pie hat. I am the one who rings the doorbell. Ah, sweet. This is a very normal, normal place that we found. And I can't take any of this stuff. This is so silly. I wish I could take the sleeping bags. And now I'm stuck here forever. Just kidding, there's some vines we can climb on the side here. Give me a second, I wanna make sure there's nothing else in this area for me before I climb out. Still missing an item here. Apparently.
to know what's up with that. But I don't think there's anything else to find. Okay. Okay. Don't believe there's anything else in this area, so. Let's go back to the den. Banshee, I'm enjoying the bird noises. I'm glad. All right, we must uh, once again face our enemy, the mountain. I'm gonna switch back to the darkness bear. I like the green claws. All right, we do have to do some more mountain climbing, unfortunately, but maybe now that it's been a little bit and we're looking at it fresh, we'll be able to get through it. If not, I will cry. Missing so much stuff up here, oh my gosh. Okay. No one come here at night. I'm warning you, it's horrible. Something appears. Our friend the sheep was referring to the bat mutant this whole time. All right. Let's uh, not fall down. They're not scared, they promise. Okay. Let us begin the climb again. Oh, hello. I never noticed this before. There we go. Well, 
let's fall in. Snakes are always trying to form gangs in these caves. Fascinating. No turning back from this one. It's too steep. Ooh, ominous. You don't scare me, large spider. I have so many stats now. Here we go. Ooh, a forebear tablet. The savior. What remained of our order took residence in the what remain in the what remained of our temples in order to watch over a promising individual born nearby. We'll put our last hopes into this upstart. Awesome, I hear a bug. Mmm, meat. Mmm, an ancient grub. get to the rat. Can I get to the rat? seeing an alternate path. Hi! Can I help you? What is that? Don't freaking stare at me. Yeah, I, I heard you making an ugly noise. There's things in there. How do I get in there? Ah, under here. Don't bite me, that was rude. Dehydrated meat. Ooh, a giant pillow. It has the re refreshing mildew aura about it. Awesome. Is there like a web orb while I'm here? I'm not seeing one. Interesting.
All right. Let's see. I just want to make sure I'm very thorough before I leave. Anyway. Don't let a cat take it over. The cat already has her bed. It's fine. Cat, its name is Cricket. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, we're already using, like, the second best bed. So I'm not gonna switch the pillow out. Uh, let's sleep till daytime. now. Once again, we are going to try to climb the mountain. And we have to go all the way up it this time. Or we can't, uh, meet the forest spirit, among other things. So it's time to do our very best. Oh, dang it. I, 
I don't think that should count for, like, perishing. We were barely up the mountain. Ugh, so annoying. Okay. First ruin site. Peco free, getting gas and driving home. Okay, if you don't drive safe, I'll be very sad, so you'd better. Ah, for the.
Okay. Interesting. Okay. It's a lot less windy on this mountain suddenly. It at least sounds less windy. Hmm. Go away, just kidding, I love you.
Awesome, so we're definitely not supposed to be up here. Cool, cool. This is working great so far. wind is back. So, it turns out, the weird little thing I was doing, there's an unstuck key that can boost your jump, essentially. Because it tries to unstick you by jumping you out of where you're at. Normal bear jump versus the unstuck jump. And combined, you get some silly, silly height. I'm wondering if there's a spot where I can use this to safely scale the mountain. Because we were able to do it a little bit. But, like... It's tough. This is the only really helpful thing I found, though. so far. Everything else, it's like, how do I get up here? Oh, simply do it. Like, wow, thanks. That's the least helpful advice I've ever heard in my life. Just do it. Wow, are you a shoe commercial? I forget if there is anything over here. Ah, uh, it just loops back around, okay. Pecco says, Pecco home, secret mountain jumps. I would like for there to be secret mountain jumps.
Okay. No go on that one. That one just knocked you down. I see. Dang it. Right, you gotta crawl forward to that one. Okay. <sighs> I hate this mountain man. But I gotta get up there if I wanna do anything else, apparently. Aside from freaking magical color land. Which I'd also rather not go back to. On account of the obnoxious tune. Like the passive aggressive signage. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. Skipped a little bit there, that was nice.
there and she says, I didn't know bears could climb and hop this well. Climb? Yes. Hop on a mountainside? I don't know, chief. Frankly, I don't know that they actually can. Which is why this part sucks. Oh, dang it. Petko says, Guild Wars 2 says bears are pretty good at jumping. Does it? Where? Petko, Norn. They are only bears sometimes. Okay, that looks climbable. Oh boy, here we go. What's this say? How did I get up here? How indeed. I don't feel very lucky after eating this mushroom, but whatever. Whatever you say, game. It's a little too high. Top of the mountain? <gasps> Did we do it? We're alive! <laughs> Give me that. Mole picture. It's a picture of a mole named Dan Mole! Oh my gosh, we finally got up to the top of this dumb mountain. I mean that bug. Give me that butterfly. Petko says, we're mountain kings. Tablet 5. As our ancient order came to an end, we leave the future to you, who are able to decipher our writings. We wish you good luck. Awesome! What do I do? Give me this bug to eat, I guess. A mystic mushroom? A profoundly powerful mushroom that oddly doesn't taste like anything special. up here? Oh, 
Let's save that we freaking did this. I don't want to have to do that ever again. Mountain King, climb faster. Everything's maxed out. Awesome. everything up here. Oh, that was harrowing. Okay. Back to my den. <sighs> oh, look, there's Dan's picture. Plus one to mole friendship. Becco says mission success. Okay. Now. We need to go to sleep. God, okay. And now we gotta go to the cave. And now we gotta find that one exit again. I believe it's just this one over here. Yeah, it's this one. Yep, here's the pipes. Now that we've turned the valves off, we can go this way. the strobe lights. It's got music now. Hello, forest spirit.
It's very nice to meet you. I, I hope I have proved myself uh, worthy of your trials and stuff. It, it took a long time to do all that things. So you may have noticed it has a health bar by now, but you know what? I, I don't know if I want to beat him up. He's just minding his business, frankly. <laughs> like seriously, this dude's just chilling. He's like, hey, how's it going? Toxic barrel, I wonder where that is. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to fight the forest spirit. I'd rather not. Again, dude's just minding his business. Uh, but if we want, our decked out bear done. We're going to have to. So let's get our last respectful look at the forest spirit here. And let's go. That quest was really frustrating. I hated climbing that mountain. Great, now the forest will descend into evil. Good job, bear. I'm the forest spirit now. I will guard these woods from evil. Pecco says, take this. My love, my hate, and all of my sorrow. Bear punch. Thank you for blessing me with your presence, and also I, um, ate you. Anyway. Majestic, who did this? Alright, well. As discussed earlier, the pig is unbeatable due to bugs in the game. Which is great and cool and awesome. But and there are still like some dark energy globes in the uh, spooky zone. And I want to see if I can find those at least. I'm just I'm just not sure where they are. And this game is very poorly documented, other than the problems. So like These are actually fairly well documented. Okay.
I don't believe we're going to be able to 100% this game because of things like the Shadow Pig and the freaking color land. But, uh, honestly, I feel like after the stream we might move on from this game. Just because I feel like we've seen nearly everything. So, doing as much cleanup as possible. I wonder if we already got this one. Is that a different shadow pig? Why are there two of them?
I don't even need to eat these things. I'm just doing it. Oh, hey, an essence of darkness. That was the last dark essence. Awesome. We got a dark portal and it's a bed. <laughs> cool. Okay. That's the last thing we can do here because we cannot defeat those dang shadow pigs. Pekko says, yeah, dark powers. At least you're another world of mystery, but you're a bear, so it doesn't interest you. One or 100%? Oh my gosh. Sure, let's go to another dimension and nap about it. Awesome. Maxed out. Thank you, Dark Dimension. Okay, what else is there? All right, let's try to find more decorations now that I'm on a roll here with it. Where's the toxic barrel? The toxic barrel is underwater in the radioactive lake in the mountains. Okay. Awesome. I love the radioactive lake in the mountains. We don't have to climb it for that. Let's see. To get there, I believe we have to go left, then right along the military path. Now, swimming in a radioactive lake may seem like a bad idea, but we'll get a cool decoration out of it, so let's do it. Petko says, I don't know about this one, Chief. Everyone loves radioactive lakes. It's fine. It's only a little green. Wow! A normal koi fish! The fact that this somehow isn't even hurting is baffling to me. I thought for sure I'd jump in here and die. There it is! Collected a toxic barrel. Minus one intelligence. Nah, it's fine. I love toxic barrels. Then she says it'll be fine. And it was! Yeah. Minus one intelligence. No. Uh. Alright. Next. Animal buddy.
I should, in theory, be able to do this thing. Excuse me. Let's see if we can do it in practice, though. Ah, beautiful. Plus 100 to possibly developing superpowers. Makes the 10 smell like cranberries. Awesome! Alright. I unfortunately forget what part of the forest this creature is in. Also, this doesn't freaking help anybody. This is just an overall map of the world, quote unquote. It doesn't tell me where anything is in the forest. Man. If this game is going to keep being available for people to buy and play, I think it should be better documented. But also, I don't have that energy. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it, there was something else in the uh, meadow where we beat up the forest spirit. Oh well. Let's find this other uh, animal buddy first. You know, if I can freaking remember where it is. I know I found the door a couple of times. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure that the cave entrance is, like, right around here. Wait, never mind. Found this by accident. Let's go. beat up a bunch of evil versions of that. Good times. Why are these so loud? Hello, friend. It wants specific junk food. I can't even hurt it. I swear that I found the specific junk food. Maybe I have to go back to where it was. Or this is yet another thing that's broken, which would not surprise me at all.
All right, so if I go there, I can get to the big bunny. And if I go a little further down, I can get to the cave entrance. Pick up the big bunny. The big bunny. Yeah. The big bunny. All right. We got to go back uh, to the place. Where we beat up the forest spirit. Since it's not actually tough to get to. I'm just doing it while I'm thinking about it. Because otherwise I will forget. I would like to get the last of the spider orbs. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Because I don't know where it is. If I can, great. If not, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how invested I am in that outcome. All right, so. Rest in peace for a spirit.
Pekka says, this game is pretty for an indie parody budget game. Isn't it just? Pekko says, I think Alpine regions should appear more often. Yeah, could be cute. Maybe better coded than this one, though. Awesome! Sure, game, why not? May as well at this point, right? <laughs> Pekka, oh. Nah, listen, it's normal. Ooh, the bear temple. This game is so coded, y'all. Who's cracking? It's Becco. Becco says, I cracked the code. No, I did that. You cracked a soda can. Oh, there it is. I don't know how to get down. Okay, well, we know where it is. One more time. My cat was floating a little. 
That's okay. You can float a little if you want, kitty. What did the screen say your name was, Cricket? You can float if you want, Cricket. No, not the mountain, the cave. Alright, so, no ascending to heaven this time. Awesome, we found all the butterflies. Save that. Go home. Peko. No more ascension. It's fine. We don't need to ascend. Look at all these butterflies. Beautiful. Alright, next. Give me a moment here.
Paco says, I like your lime green claws. Thanks, they come from being an evil bear. I'm so messed up and evil. Ooh. We unlocked the ability to be a vampire earlier today, but, uh... Eh. This one looks nicer, honestly. Number one food of fatty, fat, fat rabbits. Okay. I hope we collected that for the rabbit. Because it said I ate it. Colonel. Ozible, Redeemer, and Destroyer, Pawn, and Messiah. I mean, I have been playing a lot of Cult of the Lamb today. Peko, oh, it's me, I'm a rabbit and I love fries. Yeah, are these fries for you? It said I munched those, I hope that that was the correct thing to do. Was there another, like... Is there another command there? Let me check this real quick. Uh, yeah, I ate them instead of picking them up. Okay. That's the problem. But you know what? It is no big deal. We will simply leave and come back now that I know where they are. And they are not far from the entrance at all. Gotta remember to pick them up instead of eat them ourselves. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Collect. There. Now we can take these to the bunny and make it our friend. Now that the fries are in my inventory and not in my tummy.
Aw, oh, the cat and the raven are hanging out. How cute. Head through here. Hello, my friend. I have some french fries for you. Plus one animal buddy. Needed french fries. Befriended a rabbit. And that's all the animal buddies. Alright. I think the only things that are left are the spider orbs. Uh, fighting all of the creatures... It, Shepherd Lake, which is impossible to do without knowing which one I'm missing. And uh, the color world stuff, which is obnoxious. And fighting the shadow pig, which is literally broken in this version of the game and I would need an older one. We can maybe do two of those. If we're lucky. And I'm going to try. I'm pretty sure that this bear and this um, ability are tied to the color zone. I don't care about that because, frankly, it's obnoxious. Uh, that one's from the pigs. Don't know what that one is. Uh, let me look real quick and see what... Okay, got the butterflies, got the antlers. Okay. That's what they are, I see. Okay. We might be able to get one of them. Hopefully two of them. Peko's very excited we befriended the Bunui. I feel like we're missing like one thing here and that'll get us the very last thing but I don't know what time of day to look or anything anyway let's go look at our bunny friend he's an overweight and lazy rabbit who moved into your den minus 10 to fridge contents club sandwich he's awake you can't steal this. Yet. Aw, oh, I'm not gonna take your sandwich. Don't worry, buddy. That's your sandwich. I have so many critters. I have so many friends. Paco says, listen. He's good at bunnying. You know what? You're so right. You're so good at bunnying, dude. Okay.
All right. The web orbs are not documented at all, essentially. So, I guess we are once again going to the lake to see if we can find any creatures. I don't think that we will, but we can try. Awesome. The game said, quit playing around. And I'm like, no, please. It's all I have. I love the random disappearance of sound effects that's been happening today. This is one of the games ever. I got excited and thought I saw a creature. It was a rock. You're never going to guess what literally just happened a second time. Still tarnished Ozzy's a bear. I am! This might be my last bear outing. I'm cleaning up what I can in this game, but I feel like I've seen everything I wanted to see. Feltarner says, does the game have a final boss? It has bosses per area, but uh, no overarching big bad that we can do anything about anyway. Because I think in this case, like, not to repeat cliches, but I think it may have been the humans that were here previously, but... They already blew themselves up and faced the consequences. We are just a weirdly intelligent bear running around in the aftermath. And you know, I don't necessarily mind it being like an open-ended exploratory game, but the fact that it's so delightfully coded
Anyway, I'm looking for an animal. And I don't know what animal it is. Only that I haven't beaten it up yet. Because I need to beat up every animal and come here at night to face the boss of this area. And I'm sitting at 27 out of 29. Which means there is one more somewhere. But the game does not provide checklists or anything of this helpful nature. So I'm stuck here guessing what animal it could possibly be and having to look for it. I have been all over this place both during the day and the night. I don't know where this creature is or what it is. And fish don't count. Then she says, is it a platypus? Man, I wish it was. Because then I would know what it is. Alright, here's the situation. We have found 27 out of 29 animals. Here are the animals that are present in this place. Lake ducks. River foxes. Skunks. Angry boars alligators, and a mystery animal, which the game has very not subtly hinted is Bigfoot. Bigfoot will only appear at night if I beat up everything else. I don't know. I don't know what creature I'm looking for. If it's a fox, I need to be here during the day. If it's a skunk or a boar, I need to be here during the night. I don't actually know if there's a special weather condition for ducks or alligators. Because I've beat up all the alligators, I'm pretty sure. Because they like to attack. And I, I sought them out. But. I don't know. Maybe it's a creature that only appears in the rain. Because some creatures don't come out during the rain. And if the 29th creature isn't Bigfoot, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. And again, fish don't count. I could eat all the fish in the world. And Bigfoot would not care. Bigfoot would say, I don't care about the fish. You can eat all of those. Pecco, this sounds like spawn fishing in FF14. The spawn conditions are crazy. It's less that they're crazy and more that the game doesn't tell you how much of anything there is. Or which ones you've, like, finished with already. I mean, I guess the Bigfoot thing is a little weird, but it's, you know, it's a boss. I'm willing to let that part slide. But yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for or where it is. And because people barely document this game... Uh, I'm not sure if I ever will, but I'm giving it a try before I hang this game up. That goes as a count for each animal would be useful, right? It's all I really want, but this game is no longer being updated and the last update made to the game broke some things. So we won't even be able to 100% it unless we start it over. Essentially. For all I know, that update also broke how many animals are out here at the lake.
Gonna look in a couple more spots and then I'm gonna try for uh, nighttime. Or possibly until it rains. I'll sleep during the day and come back when it is raining. And see if that brings out anything interesting and new. Because that is the only uh, conditions in the world. Day, night, or raining. I guess that's part of whatever the military did that opened a bunch of portals that killed all the humans or whatever. Part of their hubris. Is this a passage? No. I remember when I was taken in by the whimsy of a magic bear temple. Those are better days. When I wasn't looking for that last lousy creature. place left to check before we decide to go home and sleep till it's raining, I guess. I'd rather do rain first than nighttime, because at least when it's raining I can still see.
Man, what good is a quote-unquote better climbing if I can't cheese these slopes? <laughs> Regardless, there's not a creature up there, I'm pretty sure. Petko says, if only you could Skyrim, right? That would improve everything. There'd be bandits yelling at me. It'd be awesome. Never should have come here. Except I also couldn't finish Skyrim all the way through because it was uh, kind of boring. All right, yep, no creatures. All right, back to the den. Gonna sleep. Stanced up. You be nice to each other. It is not raining. Oh my gosh, it took all my stamina away. Sheesh. This bed is a gamble. Indeed, indeed. Is it raining yet? No, it is not. Oh, took my health this time. What's it gonna take for it to rain? Usually it wants to rain whenever it feels like, and now suddenly rain doesn't exist anymore? The rain suddenly isn't real? What are those, french fries? Oh, there's a lot of french fries. They were spilling all over the rock. Oh my gosh, it took everything from me. Good lord. Still bright as ever. I get a tooltip about the rain and it doesn't even rain. This is nonsense. Any second now, it will be raining, please! Pretty, please? I just need it to rain!
Bam, she says, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. No, I want the rain to be here. In game. Please, in game rain. Please, in game rain. Please. Does does the interdimensional portal just like make it never rain ever? Cause that's awful if true. Probably not even on purpose. Peko says weather. I'm losing my entire mind. Apologies if this is driving anyone insane. Me too, I promise. Let's see if there are any creatures who are out specifically in the rain. Hi, Omega Sonnet. Good to see you. We've achieved some things. If you can believe it. And she said, we achieved rain. We did, and it only took forever. But even if we don't finish everything in this game, I think this is gonna be my last go with Bear Sim. Because, oh my gosh, it's so poorly documented, it's frustrating. Omega Sonic says, The craftable minds have turned sour tonight. Oh no, what happened in Minecraft? Is it like actual problem or is it just something people are complaining about? Or did something happen in like a save of yours? Omega Sonic says, We've been playing Vault Hunters, and the new update is brutally difficult if you just update at high level. Ooh, I see. Yeah, that could sour an experience for sure.
Ah, out of stamina. Luckily I have 8 billion health. If I can find a fish, I think I'll be fine. There we go. Omega Sonic says the healthiest bear of all. So healthy. Look, we maxed out our stats. Don't have a lot of stamina though, on account of our new bed is really weird. Peko says evil is healthy. Yeah, we're a real scoundrel. We're a little scamp, if you will. Swimming does take stamina, okay. We're gonna have to be careful. No creatures so far. than fish, which don't count for this thing I'm doing.
not seeing anything living around here. Mm, it's not looking good. I don't know if we'll be able to fight this guy. And she says he's a hider, not a fighter. I wish he was a fighter, so he'd come out and fight me so I could fight the last guy, but no. Yeah, I'm not seeing any critters out here in the rain. Very unfortunate. Banshee says maybe it's a human. The last human. Nah, I don't think so. Bigfoot's real, but all the humans is gone. No more of them. They all blew themselves up or something. Banshee says, a bear? No, that's not in the animal list. I'm the only bear in this game. Pekko says humans became bear. Look, I would also rather be playing Guild Wars 2, but let's let's not get into that right now. Pekko, my head cannon. I'm excited for the X Pack to come out. That's what, next week? Janther Wilds is? Looking forward to it. August is August is busy. 
for games. Because the Guild Wars 2 X Pack's coming out next week. Cult of the Lamb updated today. I think Gunfire Reborn is going to also be having an update near the end of the month. Either... Either this month or it might be in September. I feel like there was something else and I'm just forgetting it. Warframe's releasing another Prime this month. It's my boy Sevigoth. Very excited about that. Uh, what else is happening? I'm sure there's more that I'm simply not on the up and up about. Was something happening in Dead by Daylight this month? Is it, or did it already happen? Did the Castlevania stuff already happen? I'm not sure. If not, it's later this month. I remember some friends were excited about that. Okay, it's in the test server right now, says Becco. Okay, so that's kinda half here. But we'll be real soon for people that play that. I don't, but I have so many friends who do these days. All right, well, I don't see any animals out here in the rain. Which means that it's time to sleep until night. And this, we don't have to worry about the weather. I just want to make sure my stats are full before I go over there. Banshee said, I reinstalled DVD but haven't played in a while. Oh, that's the opposite of full stats. Goodness gracious, you're going to kill me if I step outside. Hello. Now we're losing the stat lottery. Becco says, I'm excited for Guild Wars 2 as well. Finally, we get a house. Okay, no health. Come on. Please, cooperate with me. Just give me... I love that in the last hour the game has decided to just be a total hater. Come on, please fill my bars. What is happening right now? Finally, okay. It still took less tries than the freaking rain. To the mic! Alright, I cannot see but I'm gonna do my best. And maybe the game will bug out and give us the encounter anyway. Wouldn't that be nice? I think that'd be fantastic. All things considered. I'm just making sure they didn't throw them out here or something. Nope. Okay.
Is there a creature over here by the campgrounds sign? There is not. Okay. Okay, nothing up here. No one here.
Bug out, bug out, bug out. Show me, show me, show me. Dang it. Awesome buggy sound at the temple so that there isn't any. Love to hear it. Why couldn't my sense of smell, like, give me a radar for a creature? Like, the reading messages thing is quite useful, but... You know what would be even more useful? Being able to sniff out guys. For situations like this. I can't even begin to figure out how one would make such a thing, though. Well, 
Rebecca Sonic says, activate the hiff hiff power. See, I would love to, but it's not a thing I can do. I wish it was, because I would. But it's not. So I can't. <sighs> Alright, folks. I've checked over this area as thoroughly as I'm able. During the daytime, while it's raining, and at night. And I have not found this mystery animal, which is supposedly the last on my list before I can get Bigfoot to pop out. I think something in the game may be broken preventing such things from happening. You said it, Liza Chipmunk. I don't remember that message ever being there before. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the same message that's on the back of the uh, valve room. So I don't know what that was supposed to say. But I get the feeling it probably wasn't that message a second time. One last desperate peek into every corner. Heck, I'll even head over to the fake mustache area again. Ayo, I don't think I was able supposed to be able to get in here. Oh, no collision, that's no fun.
There was a gator here, but I beat it up, and now there's nothing. All right. Well, in that case, here ends the unfortunate tale of Bear Simulator. A game that gave us some good times, but ultimately wasn't finished enough that I could call it a complete experience. Gimme! I love getting stuck in things. Yay! We did accomplish a decent amount, but unfortunately the game is in too rough a state to go all the way. At least for me. Especially since apparently things broke more as it updated. So, that's gonna be it for Bear Simulator. Forever! <laughs> No, I'm, really, I'm probably not going back to this game. We did do a lot of things, though. Ooh, a baked potato. Yeah, I'll let him sleep. He can keep his baked potato. We accomplished a decent amount of things. I just wish we could have accomplished more. I, I wish the game worked. Oh, there's our ghost friend. That's cute. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope that you enjoyed, even when the game was rough and annoying and weird. Uh, if you did enjoy Bear Simulator, please consider donating to my Patreon if you can. Uh, $1 a month will get you access to stream-related art and writing. $5 a month will let you vote on what I create. And $10 a month will give you access to Photoshop files of processes, your kind of thing. Thank you for coming, everybody. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good rest of your evenings, and I hope you're all staying safe and taking care of yourselves. Good night, everybody.